He is, quite simply, a giant of the industry. George Solomon helped create the world of sports journalism as we know it. This message is for the great George Solomon. All right, George, it's me, Scott Van Pelt. Hey, Bob. Hi, George. Hey, George. Hey, George, it's Chris Brennan. Hi, Hi George. George, I love that we're getting to celebrate you here today. Wow. You're retiring. What a tremendous career to celebrate. Through the early 1960s, George worked his way up through the newspaper world, and in 1972, he reached the pinnacle, the Washington Post. Once there, George became the longest tenured department head in the history of the newspaper. As sports editor, he mentored and cultivated young reporters, and his protégés grew to be, for sports fans, household names. Tony Kornheiser, Michael Wilbon, Christine Brennan, Jane Levy, Gary Pomerantz, David Aldridge, Rachel Nichols, Sally Jenkins. If, as it is said, democracy dies in darkness, then George Solomon was creating a million points of light. I first met George about 25 years ago when he hired me as a college intern at the Washington Post. And how is it possible that it's been almost 36 years since you hired me at the Washington Post? George, you've been extremely supportive of me uh, all through my journalism career. You've just been such a tremendous support to so many of us and your willingness to share your network, to connect us with people. George, you believed in me when no one else did. You're an incredible advocate for the people that you mentor. We are here to honor George for all he's done for sports journalism. Come on, get with the program now. Besides hiring us, what else did he do exactly? You launched me into the career of my dreams, George, by putting me on the NFL beat. You hired Kendrick, hired Sally, hired Aldridge, hired Remnick, hired Rachel. He hired people who turned out to be great. He saw greatness in us, and he was a great judge of talent. George later switched to a new medium, television, working as the first ombudsman for ESPN. His keen eye and his high standards brought a depth and a dialogue to the issues facing the sports network in its journalism. He made many people better. There was, you can imagine, great recognition of George's career and his professional stature. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame at the University of Florida College of Journalism and Communication and also the Greater Washington Jewish Hall of Fame. This on top of countless other awards George earned during his remarkable career. I just hope everyone understands the impact that George Solomon has had on journalism, certainly in the Washington DC area for a very, very long time. George set the standard for integrity, credibility, and reader advocacy for fellow industry luminaries and ESPN ombudsmen such as Leanne Schreiber, Don O'Meyer, and Bob Lipside. And his status as a giant in sports journalism brought immediate gravitas to the role and a genuine connection with the ESPN audience. The Washington Post was one of the great sports sections of all time, and it's because of him. He was the one that found Michael Wilbon, Tony Kornheiser, and once he got them in the room, not to mention Tom Boswell and all the others, he challenged them to be even better. Look what George did for me. Look what George did for you. Yeah, he sent you all around the country like you were a mule. And then he gave you a $25 raise at the end of the year. And he told you not to tell anybody. And you loved him. He prevented me from trying out for Monday Night Football, totally sabotaging my career. Then he gave me a $15 raise. For the past 17 years, this has been George's home, the University of Maryland's Philip Merrill College of Journalism. Here, George taught so many students, drawing on the wealth of his skills and his experience, and significantly, honoring the legacy of a local sports writing legend by launching the Shirley Povich Center for Sports Journalism. George is the crown jewel of the center, and he not only created the center, but he gave my father the greatest legacy he would ever want, and that is that his principles, his view, of sports journalism lives on in the center. And it's because of George. Dad always said George had a million ideas and one of his best involved creating this program to carry on the legacy and values of our father, 
Shirley Povich. George has educated and mentored a generation of young sports journalists with his wisdom and his values, and they are grateful for it, as are we. Our students have been so fortunate to learn from you, from the ethics of journalism to the skills necessary to be a great sports reporter. We're not quite sure what life at Merrill looks like without you. From Matt and I meeting in your class, to getting married, to coming back to work for you, and then having this little one. I remember first meeting you at the first ever Shirley Povich Sports Journalism Camp almost six years ago. And since then, you, one of, you have been one of my biggest inspirations. Now, following a career of nearly 50 years, Finally, George is retiring. Len Downey, the former executive editor of the Washington Post, has called George the best and most influential sports editor of his time. But George, your legacy at Merrill College is measured in very human terms. It's been tangible, the many ways you helped to open doors for so many and forge the future of sports journalism. You've been such an incredible asset to our university and to me. Your friendship will never be forgotten. Whatever it is that you want to do, you deserve to do it all. And of course you deserve all of the praise and thanks that are being allowed upon you today. I can't thank you enough. So George, thank you for so much. Congratulations, George. Thank you so much for being a friend. George, ESPN thanks you. Our readers and viewers thank you. And I personally thank you. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your contributions to sports journalism. Thanks so much for being such a good friend, a mentor, uh, and such a champion for so many people. Congratulations, George, and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me be part of your life professionally. Thank you for the friendship we've carried through the years. Congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations. Congratulations, George. Congratulations on everything you've done. Congratulations, George. I'm so proud of you for everything that you've done, everything that you've, that you've taught me. Love you, George. Love you, George. So, Happy retirement, love ya. I don't think you're gonna retire, although you might retire from this job. I think there are a few books in your future. So you will unretire retirement. Congratulations.